Hello everyone, uh, today is Tuesday, June 25th. I'll be going my recap for today. Um, so um, I told um, in a few of my videos that I've been working on some uh, future trading um, and working on automated trading. Um, so today I started trading my futures account, um, but it was more through manual. Um, but uh, today I have a $157 loss on my stocks account uh, with uh, two trades two shorts uh, went in a little bit too early um, and actually went my way afterwards which was a little um, big bummer for me and on my futures account uh, I'm actually up uh, 283 after uh, the commissions and I'll go over that in a bit um, so my first trade was KRYS so you can see it was trending the 15 minute here today um, and then it was also trending the hourly um, the past uh, two days or one day um, and then what I saw was this um, kind of downtrend uh, so I went ahead and short here and I actually uh, held held it with my stop off of these um, high uh, it eventually wake me out and stopped me out there um, and eventually failing um, later later on so I think the lesson here was I went a little too early um, it didn't really did a full retest of this or I should have let it bounce one more time and then short the, the break here and you can see it actually we did like a six point move to $39 from 45 um, but mm, took a $65 instead um, my next one was a uh, Nvidia short, so I tried this t twice, um, and both times I failed. So first thing I saw was I think it was this area, um, but it never really retested the VWAP here, so that was my first mistake. Um, and you can see when it dipped below this break here, it actually retested that VWAP a few times, um, and then it did this uh, flag break, which uh, fell afterwards. Um, but also you can see that it was bouncing off this 15 minute EMA so I should have uh, waited a little bit uh, over here I went in a little too early um, but um, when I went in the second time you can see I went in just a titty bit early um, <coughs> for this break um, I saw I saw this little cup and handle for me right here I went ahead and had a sh started short it had a little whip down and then it stopped me out and then just a few moments later it kind of <coughs> break break down retested you up and faded back down to 151 uh, and then my justification was to retest this 90 MA here at the 153 area uh, which it did and and broke through it um, so that uh, ended up Two loss on the Nvidia, um, which took me out for a ninety-one dollar loss. Um, in Starbucks, I Starbucks was holding this uh, daily trend here, and I was waiting for it to retest the ninety MA, um, and now it's creating this Doji candle. So right now, I'm I have a uh, two hundred shares uh, short swing off it, um, but right now, when it retested this. I went ahead and shorted it, um, but then I was pushing back over this uh, this prior uh, support here, uh, which can be troublesome, but uh, we'll see uh, tomorrow. So on to my futures. Um, so I, the past few weeks, I've been working on indicators. So um, from NinjaTrader, so you can see that this is a really busy chart on my. Uh, uh, futures here and you can see that I am trading the the Nasdaq futures um, Which is the MNQ. So this, these are the E micros future uh, which uh, Started uh, last month um, When they opened so it kind of got me attracted because it's good for smaller accounts uh, You only need $50 leverage so I went ahead and signed up a uh, on Ninja Trader because you can automate and build your own strategies and indicators. Um, 
So here you can see my trades. Um, there's a bunch of trades that happen. Um, and you can pretty much short uh, anytime you want. You don't need to borrow uh, or long. So you can see I uh, bought here, but then I think I stopped out. Um, and then I start, uh, you can see all my cells up here. Um, and, and then covering some here for some gains there. Um, but my indicators here, so this is the a longer time frame indicator. So yellow and red means it's on a downtrend. Um, and then I have also these uh, indicators here, the Dow Theory indicator to see if it's bullish or bearish or if it's in a choppy choppy zone. Um, my biggest win was, so you can see I did a short here, cover um, some short and I cut some losses. Um, but pretty much I try to play the big picture um, and then within that picture um, play the trend. So with, with these uh, with these um, um, futures, it's best to follow the trend uh, and not to play reversals. Um, so you can see here, um, this here was a big move uh, from the short side. So I, I went ahead and saw like all three indicators on the red. Um, was breaking down this moving average. I uh, went ahead and started short there. And then pretty much you can see it was like a 10 point move here and then a 20 point move. Uh, so I'm going to cover some there and then cover some here and it eventually bounced back. Um, but pretty much all those trade got me to above $228. Um, I'll try to uh, be more specific with this. Um, it's just still trying to uh, navigate this on how to um, showcast it better. Um, but you can see uh, future trades almost 24 7 so it's you can see it's moving right now um, but yeah that's all I have for today and um, let me know if you're interested in uh, hearing more about my future strategies or indicators um, but as always um, I'd like to thank everyone for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let me know how you feel thank you bye bye